I didn't realise that I was being abused. I thought it was normal. And it wasn't until later that it got worse and worse and the abuse increased. It was verbal, physical, sexual. He demanded money from me and so on. You know, um, and I, I was just overwhelmed and I just wanted it to stop. And I wanted it to stop then and now. He started to, uh, he threatened me with a gun and I think that's when I finally realised that absolutely that was not acceptable. I needed to protect my children and me and I didn't want it anymore. I didn't want any more threats. His verbal abuse was just dreadful, it was awful. He threatened to kill people by text. It wasn't a nice experience for me and I just had enough. So I told the police. communicate with the police direct it was really difficult for me and when I met them uh, I didn't have an interpreter so we'd have to write things down. I couldn't make an, a statement straight away because there wasn't an interpreter there but when I contacted Dev Hope they had everything. The, the pace was quick, you know, it was instant. They um, brought an interpreter along, the members of staff, everybody was deaf aware there so it was a very quick service, a good service. Well, I think those deaf women who are survivors like me, it won't be easy to contact the police directly, but sometimes the police can't provide interpreters straight away, that the process is quite slow and lengthy, it can be. I would recommend that they go straight to an organisation like Deaf Hope because they know what to do, they can guide you through the specifics and they can make sure that your needs are met, I would recommend that. But I would say to deaf women, don't hide, tell your story, come out, tell the truth, tell people what's happening and get support and make sure you're safe and be brave.